Y'all wanna see what $700 worth of dirt looks like? Come with me. We got a big load of compost delivered yesterday and whew, it was expensive. The chickens are excited for the compost. They're squawking and going crazy this morning. Look at them running. They're doing their chicken dance. Hey guys. They always run up to me whenever I walk past because I think I have treats. I don't have any this morning. Sorry guys, but it's cute that they come running when they see me. The garden here has a couple of the beds already topped up with the compost that I did yesterday, but there's still quite a few that need a fresh layer. So I figured I'd bring you all along with me and we'd do that together today. So the pile I'm about to show you today isn't the complete pile of compost because there are already a few of the beds topped off, but it's pretty much the full pile. I don't know, I feel like dirt's gotten more expensive. I need to figure out a way to make our own compost on a larger scale because we use a lot of it, but it makes the garden produce so much more food. So in the end, it is worth it. Here is our pile of compost. As you can see, the kids have already been playing with their bikes in it this morning and they've got their little wheelbarrow. They're helping me out today. This compost pile is not only great for the garden, but it's been really entertaining for the kids too. They've been riding their bikes up and down the hill and helping me out, wheelbarrowing. They are helping me shovel pretty much all day yesterday. So that was really nice. It's definitely a good energy burner for them and for me too, good workout. The tractor would be ideal for shoveling all this compost, but currently it has a hydraulic leak of some sort that Ryan needs to fix. So in the meantime, I figured I'd just get a good workout in myself and use the wheelbarrow. I think I did about 30 wheelbarrows full yesterday and that was with the baby on my back. So hopefully we can crank out a little bit more while the baby's sleeping. That's the goal. Anyway, we'll see how it works. My name's Kara, by the way, if you're new here, welcome to Bluebird Homestead. Thanks for tuning in to today's video. Hope you guys enjoy seeing me shuffle dirt. Feel free to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and like today's video. And leave a comment down below if you've topped off your garden beds with compost this year already or if that's something you still need to do or if you're just not going to do it. To each its own. To each its own. Is that how the saying goes? To each its own. I should really wear a pedometer or something when I'm outside. I'm getting my steps in today. I have to go all the way back because the wheelbarrow's over here. Ryan was using it for something else. Probably should have more than one wheelbarrow, but we don't. Oh, as we're walking by the garden, you can see what needs done. So this front one's pretty much done, and those long skinny ones are pretty much done, but these shorter ones still need a fresh layer, and the other L-shaped beds on the other side. Oh, I hear the little truck running. The kids little battery operated truck has a dump bed on the back and it's actually pretty handy. It can carry quite a few scoops of dirt. I found it. He's got a scoop from the top of the hill. <laughs> nice. Fill her up. Somehow I always end up losing my gloves and they never match. <laughs> you know where the match is? Yes. Where's the match? Um, window did. It matches that. You don't have to go all the way to the house to get it. It's okay. Well, the kids know where the matches are. I just don't. Isn't this little wheelbarrow so cute? They wanted to park the wheelbarrow right next to mine so that they could shuffle at the same time. Isn't that just adorable? I love having the kids help me with any project. It's always so much fun to spend time together, but it makes it even more rewarding when you can get a job done.
Before applying the compost to any of the raised garden beds, I'm just moving the drip irrigation tubing out of the way before I add it on top. This weed, I'm not sure exactly what it is, but I yanked on it pretty good there and it's not budging. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to come back with the shovel and pull this one out later. That thing was just too stubborn for me to pull. These smaller raised garden beds just needed a little bit of compost. They didn't really need too much at all. I would say maybe about an inch of compost on each of these. I'm using my rake just to kind of evenly distribute it across the top. There are a few clumps in this particular mix, but the rake breaks it up pretty easily. And I'm not too worried about any major clumps. Just an even distribution is what I'm going for. After the compost is nicely spread out, all there's left to do is put the drip irrigation tubing back on top with some landscaping stakes to hold it in place. That last little bit that comes out of the wheelbarrow is always so hard for me to get out. My first inclination when trying to dump a wheelbarrow is to tip it all the way up and over, but that ends up putting a little bit of pressure on the edge of the beds. I'm trying to avoid damaging my garden beds as best I can because when you inevitably push up against the wood, even though you may not see strain immediately, I feel like that is kind of affecting the integrity of the bed over time. And I want these to last as long as physically possible. So I'm trying to take every precaution I can to hopefully ensure that that happens. One thing about having the drip tubing set up in such a way that it's straight lines like this, it does make it pretty easy to pick up and put back down if you need to do any weeding or major work to the beds, like adding fresh compost. I think the boys are going to be pretty sad when this dirt pile is all distributed amongst the beds because they've been pretending to be dirt bikes all afternoon and I think they're having a great time. As the afternoon progressed, I ended up starting the method of lifting the wheelbarrow all the way up in the air and dumping the compost into the bed that way versus doing the little shake shake method into the bed each time because that was starting to get old pretty quick. Thankfully, we have an absolutely beautiful day here in Virginia to do all this compost work. It's not too hot and it's not too cold. Like Goldilocks would say, it is just the right temperature. I'm making good progress. I think I'll be able to actually finish the raised bed garden today. And then I have a couple projects around the house that I want to use some of the compost for. But so far we've gotten this L-shaped bed, that one right there these little square beds, I don't even know my shapes, little rectangle beds all along this side of the garden done. And these other ones just need a tiny bit. They're pretty full. And those really long skinny ones are done. So I always have to do the two L's on the other side. Getting there, it feels good to stand back and look at all the fresh dirt. I think the nice black compost looks really nice. It's actually technically a 50% compost, 50% topsoil blend. That's what we purchased. It's not 100% straight compost because I'm going to be creating some brand new landscaping beds over by the house and I wanted the blend for that. So I figured I'd get the whole dump truck load of the same thing. I pruned back the blackberries the other day. You can see there's actually some new growth already starting to form on them. And I stuck a bunch of the clippings in this bed I just stuck them straight to the ground, hopefully to try to propagate them. Blackberries seem to root themselves pretty easily. So I'm hoping it works really nicely and we can have a lot more blackberries. These are all a thornless blackberry variety. And as you can see, I've got lots of sticks all on here. The one problem with that is it's gonna make it a little hard to dump the wheelbarrow right here. So I think what I'll do is I might dump at the end of this bed and then just rake it out. It won't be the prettiest, but it'll work, I think. It'll also be interesting to see how these blackberry cuttings do. I don't have the drip system turned on right now, so they're only getting water from the clouds at the moment, and I'm not watering them. So everything seems to be holding a lot of moisture 
and the soil seems pretty damp. So I think they'll be okay. Time will tell. One of the little propagation experiments I'm working on right now. The strawberry runners from last year have kind of matted down these drip tubings. But they're gonna yank them up. They don't want them to go anywhere. I guess they want their water. I guess the strawberries will be all right being covered with a little layer of compost. I don't see why not. There's just a tiny little bit of green leaves starting to poke up. I've got plenty of strawberries, so it'll be an experiment. We'll find out if it works or not. Hopefully I didn't just kill all my strawberries. To say I'm excited for strawberry season would be an understatement. I am so excited for fresh strawberries from the garden. The kids also have been coming out and seeing if the strawberries are ready yet. I can't, I can't bear to break it to them that they still have quite a little ways to go until they can harvest strawberries. But that doesn't stop them from going out and checking and seeing if they magically grew overnight. Let's go next to the house and we'll put compost over there too. This is what we're working with. This bed has a little bit more gravel and rock in it, so I think it could really benefit from some compost. It doesn't look the prettiest right now, but hopefully this summer we can change that and get things looking a little nicer in the spring. The lavender still looks pretty nice though right now, but it could definitely be tidied up and it's not where I want it yet. But don't worry, I have plans for it. You can kind of see the edge of how much we've done. All the raised beds are done. And this will go around the house. The raised bed garden is now freshly topped off with some good compost. So we're ready for spring planting when that time comes around. It'll be here really soon before you know it. And then we'll be harvesting lots of stuff again too. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any videos in the future. Bye y'all. Mm -hmm.